So the parts we're going to be testing here today are two um, metal honeycomb foil pieces. Kind of see the texture and stuff there. Um, they're being picked um, with the what's called the tape side down. So there's a side on the back um, that's kind of filled in. So that side's down where the open honeycomb structure is facing up. Um, these two parts are, are a little bit different. One is a little bit more, the tape, tape is a little bit more porous on the left one um, versus the right one. So we'll test them both with a, what we call an F20 or a 20 millimeter flat cup. Um, just a basic 20 millimeter, um, little bit of vertical movement, um, flat cup. This one's made out of chloroprene. Um, this one is it's also connected to a level compensator here for for ease of connection to a to a vacuum line um, doesn't have to be connected to a level compensator but it can be if you'd want uh, to come down and have some compensation um, as you come down on the product then we're connected to a six millimeter vacuum line and then the vacuum pump we're going to be using today is what we call our pipe pump 10x uh, the pipe pump is the uh, simpler sister of the pi compact 10x um, where you can manifold up to eight slices together, um, in between one and eight slices, I should say, and um, configure them with valves for vacuum on and off, as well as blow off on and off, um, and sensing um, positive parts presence with analog and digital sensing. So I'll test these, I'll turn this pump on. This one has the double TI cartridge, um, gives us about little under one and a half SCF and a vacuum flow um, through the cup. So I'll turn it on and we're going to grab each each part um, and kind of shake it around and see how well it performs. Our feed pressure going into the Pi Pump 10X is about 72 PSI, or maybe a little bit more, um, about optimal for this pump. So you can see that the product's sticking to the table a little bit because that, that tape on the other side actually is coarse. Um, but if I can get it off the table, I can grab it, I can move it around, um, shake it pretty violently with, without any movement on the, um, on the part. And as you can see, there is on the underside, as I'm pulling vacuum, there is no dimpling um, or damage to the, to the tape on the underside from the vacuum. Now I'll go ahead and pick up the one that's slightly less porous. See, that one didn't, doesn't stick to the table um, as I'm grabbing it. So again, no damage, no dimpling or, or marks on the back side um, from the vacuum being pulled through that tape. Again, shake that around pretty violently and no, no movement of the parts. So a 20 millimeter suction cup, something that's flat, um, or even something that's almost flat, like a universal cup that doesn't have any cleats. Um, this one's made out of polyurethane material, so a little bit, maybe a little bit better wear resistance versus standard uh, chloroprene or nitrile. Um, but either one will perform well on, on this product, as the honeycomb structure kind of acts as a, as a ceiling um, and creates its own mini vacuum chambers as you're pulling vacuum through the product. So those two cups combined with a um, either a pipe pump and a simple version with the double TI cartridges. Um, or